Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Andy Arts TV. And today we're going to talk about why Japan is worried about anime censorship. Here we go. Hello, guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Okay? Enjoy. Alright, so I came across this article. This came out this year. It said the most ridiculous ways anime were censored for uh, for American TV. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys remember, like, uh, the way animes were censored. Like, uh, like there are certain, like, they didn't want to bring in Pokemon for, you know, because uh, Brock's, Brock's, you know, little small eyes just was a stereotype for Asians. Because, you know, Americans were so sensitive to, to racism. And Yu-Gi-Oh! was censored, says 4 kids he famously omitted in any mention of death or realistic violence in Yu-Gi-Oh! So in a lot of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! like the Shadow Ram, like being sent to the Shadow Ram, uh, there was actually a different name for it that was actually more aggressive. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! cards were actually like censored. Like Barrel Dragon was actually Barrel Dragon. It was like a gun barrel from the dragon. And Sailor Moon, these two girls here, was a Sailor Saturn and Sailor Neptune, they were actually a gay couple, a lesbian couple, but in the American translation, they were cousins, and they were very close. Um, which is which is kind of funny, because nowadays, you know, like, the whole, like, LGBT thing is actually, it's actually pushed, and it's actually allowed on television, and it's actually being brought to cartoons. Um, in One Piece, of course, if you guys didn't know, um, What's this guy's name? Uh, Sanji. He had a cigarette, but then they removed the cigarette and made and turned it into a lollipop, which I think is kind of like silly. Car captor Sakura. She will. She almost didn't make it to America because he didn't think that people would like a um, a show about a little girl capturing cards. How wrong they were. So, anyways, yeah. So. America is all is this we censor the living crap out of everything and we really need to stop censoring so many things You know, and this is why Japan is worried about anim Anime here in America. So because before Japan was like, you know what? We don't care. We're just gonna make You know, we're just gonna make um, Anime for the Japanese audience and that's it. You know screw America if they don't like what we have then screw them and I don't think it's gonna go back to that, but they're really worried. They're really worried because they don't want to spend the time of like adjusting things just so, just for the American audience. That's gonna take more money and more time on their part if they had to make like episode one, two versions of episode one. For example, um, Tifa in Final Fantasy VII Remake, they had to give her a sports bra and, and uh, high socks. Basically, to so that she won't, so that she won't, so that she won't be so revealing, you know. Because in the original, Tifa was just wearing like the white top, you know, showing her like big breasts. And they say, okay, that's you know, like that shows like it's too sexualized, so you gotta bring it down a little bit. So, and, and it's very hypocritical because, like, you have something like The Last of Us, where like they had like a full-on sex scenes, but like, but like you have you have a beautiful girl. That shows cleavage and that's that's wrong you can't do that it's absolute hypocrisy and uh hold on a second what is it even shows like um the rising the rising of the shield hero uh i'm just gonna go straight to it there was a problem with the whole like slavery thing where the fuck is it Okay, so basically, so Slavery aka that's all this show is really about. Um, yeah, so they're complaining in this article that basically in the, the Rising of the Shield Hero, like, um, they, they, they have like slaves in the show, and the article is saying that basically that that's what this show is about. It says, you ever just insult so hard you justify slavery? It's basically an attack. Anime is being attacked, and the thing about anime, anime, it's way better Anime is winning in comic book sales. It's beating American comics 
is beating cartoons. Okay, is beating American cartoons. The only thing America has that's actually winning against anime is basically live action movies because anime live action movies don't really do so well. However, however, um, anime wins in so many ways. Anime is beating the living crap out of the American market in comic book sales, in cartoon. There's more streaming for anime than American cartoons. Nobody cares about American cartoons anymore like they used to. You know, after the 2000s, American cartoons just went to shit. Everything from like Teen Titans, everything from like all the Cartoon Network shows, they're not crap. They're not good. Like, they're not good like they used to be. The quality has gone down so much and they are pissed off at Japan, you know, for winning so hard. For Because their quality is just so good. And Japan, they don't censor. Japan, they don't believe in censorship. Japan, they give people creative freedom. Now there 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 are age restrictions, so there's certain like if you're like something like the Berserk manga, that's not for kids and it's not advertised for kids. But but these fuckers here, like the, the, this this agenda, this this I'm getting I'm getting my uh, getting a little lost here, but but um yeah, there's a war on anime. There's a war on anime. And basically, there's a war on anything that's really good. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, man. This is being pushed by the left. By the political left. It's, that's, what, that's, what, that's where it's being pushed from. And there's a lot of hypocrisy. Because they'll allow something like freaking... This is, oh, by the way, guys, this is just a, another censor image. How they censor the crap out of anime. Like... guys if you guys know what I'm talking about that was approved but that was pure sexuality you know if you look at this and I just gotta wait for this to load very awkward that I have this picture here but anyways you guys you, you, you guys get the idea it's absolute hypocrisy and you know the Japanese creators are worried and they don't they don't want to change only for the American audience and honestly it's not fair and uh, thank God, thank God that we have somebody like uh, Taro Yamada, who basically, let us say, he um, he won. The, well, his anti-censorship campaign stands for Japan House of Cons Consular. Candidate Taro Yamada appears to have resonated strongly with the constitu constitu constituents, as it has been reported that Yamada has won his bid for election. So now they have somebody in. In Japanese office that is basically going to help fight against you know against American censorship and also I mean and apparently there's some people in Japan who also want to censor things and I just I, I, I don't understand because everything there should be an age restriction but you should not censor everything where you're like covering girls you know putting more cover on girls because you think it's wrong because you think it's wrong when on the other side of things they they support other things such as you know like uh the whole like dra drama queens drama queens like reading reading to little kids basically bringing strip class to the to the kids classroom you know and i know i'm getting political here but i get this is political so i just say you know what screw it because i'm tired of seeing this this is this it ruined american movies and now they're gonna ruin my anime too I don't think so. I've been an anime fan since I was a freak. So since I came out of my mother's vagina, okay? Since I came out of the womb, I was an anime fan, okay? Always. And now it's being fucked because of this shit. I might as well just move to Japan <laughs> so that I can... <laughs> I might as well just fucking move to Japan so I don't have to, you know, deal with this shit. But we gotta sign a petition or something for anime to not be censored. Otherwise... You know, our favorite shows and TVs, you know, they're just going to be ruined. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Andy RTV, your boy Andy Matrix. Make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be making more videos. And, you know, this channel was not meant to be political. But, I guess, now, we have no choice. It's, it's a war. It's a war on anime. And you know what? 
I'm willing to fight. Fuck that shit.